In our previous session, we guided the students to understand that we need money to buy tickets. Along with this, we also stated that we will be engaging the students in a fun hands-on activity and introduce them to currency notes and coins. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Divide the students of the class into six groups. This is essential as working in groups will aid in developing students' communication skills as well as their interpersonal skills. Once the groups are formed, we will then distribute one set of currency notes and coins, both of rupee 1, rupees 2, rupees 5 and rupees 10 to each group. Ask the students of the groups to observe each note and coin. Once the students are done observing the coins and notes, we will then begin with the inquiries. Start by asking, are you able to identify the objects given to you? The students may possibly respond saying, yes, it is money. Some may say that it is a coin or notes and so on. Following the responses, ask the students to identify all the things that are written on the notes. Students may respond accordingly after reading the languages that they can read on the notes. Follow up by asking, what is the difference in values of the currency notes and coins? Possible response would be, both the notes and coins have the same value. Observing and answering questions like this will aid in developing decision-making skills among the students. Continue the discussion by asking, have you seen any other currency notes apart from the ones you have? Students will possibly say 500 notes, 200 notes and so on. At this stage, display the second set of currency notes of higher value, which is 20, 50, 100, 200, 500 and 2000. State that 2000 is the highest denomination and 1 rupee is the lowest denomination in currency. Following this information, tell the students that each group has to pay rupees 36 for the tickets. Collect the amount from the students and provide each group with a ticket. Now that the students have the tickets, it's time to take them on a journey to explore the concept of time and distance. Let's start with it in our next video.